Hey all, it's Jess from Sunflower Dairy. It's a beautiful fall day. If you've never been here before, I'm gonna do a garden tour. And I usually do a garden tour every week. And we are zone 5B, 6A. And I usually show you what we're growing, what we're planting, what's producing, all of that. So if you're in my growing zone, you can usually be doing stuff in your garden that we're doing. It's usually comparable as long as you're in our growing zone. And we're at the time, this is the middle of October, we're at the time where we could get a frost anytime. So our summer crops are trying to hang on, but if we get any of that frost, then summer crops will be officially done for the season but we have a ton of cold weather fall crops, so we're still gonna be having a gardening season until we get just a ton of freezing cold, down snowing weather. So without further ado, I'm gonna give you all a garden tour. All right, so we're heading over here to the garden. So as you can see, there's still a ton of stuff growing in here. And the trellises, they're all filling out really beautifully. Just look at those. I'll bring you over closer. This is the cucamelon trellis. Cucamelons, super fun. Cucamelons all over this thing. We still have tons of String beans growing all over these trellises here. Lots of beautiful varieties. Just look at all those. And we have a ton of fall crops growing in this bed as well as there's tons of sweet potatoes, which I'll be digging those up soon. A lot of the sweet potato tubers are starting to stick so a ton of that, a ton of onions over here, as well as peppers. We still have some cherry tomatoes hanging on. Lots of fall crops, cilantro, and there's lettuce and dill and all kinds of greens and herbs in here. Then we have this garden bed over here. There's broccoli and cauliflower and all kinds of stuff. Here we've got all kinds of kale varieties. We also have some lettuce growing in here. And there's a ton of Brussels sprouts. See those Brussels down there? A ton of Brussels sprouts. And the weather's finally cooling down, so we are starting to get a ton of dahlias in the garden. There's a ton of kale in here, Swiss chard. There's still a ton of zinnias everywhere. And, oh, check out these little dahlias those are super cute these just started blossoming this week dahlias actually like a little bit of cooler weather so when we were getting our summer weather which was like 80 90 degrees they didn't really like that too much so but right now it's in the 70s and 60s pretty cool at night time so they're really liking that but just look at all those those are like little palm palms Also behind the dahlias, there's a ton of celery. All right, going over here. Still have a ton of little white sunflowers growing everywhere in here. All right, I'm going to bring you over this way and show you 
the gardens over here. You can see here, there's tons of marigolds everywhere. Still have a bunch of tomatoes hanging on. So that garden bed's still doing pretty well. If you can see this right here, there's some ginger growing in here. And even the ginger leaves smell like ginger. And then this is lime, basil growing. That's going to seed. I'm going to collect the seed for that and plant some more basil next year. All right, let's go over. I haven't shown you the squash bed in a while. So check out all these squash plants in here. They're just growing like crazy. There's also a few volunteer tomatoes in here as well, but just look at all these squash plants. So there's a whole bunch of different kinds. There's some pumpkins in here. There's birdhouse gourds. There's some zucchini. There's also a few different kinds of decorative pumpkins. And there's also some trombonzino. Let me see if I can show you a trombonzino. There we go, there's one. Look at how fun those are. They grow in a curve like a trombone. And then, let's see, what else is in here? There we go. And, let's see, not sure if there's any, there's a pumpkin. All right, so a lot of that's growing. All right, let's go over to the other gardens. Oh, on our way, I gotta show you these huge dinner plate dahlias. Look at, they're so big they can cover my face. Super huge, beautiful dahlias. Just look at those. So beautiful. All right. Going over to the other gardens over here. There's quite a bit growing still. Oh, hello, chickens. They're having fun finishing off the rest of the cherry tomatoes. But as you can see, there's still tons and tons of cherry tomatoes in here. All over the place. There's still some big tomatoes as well growing. Still a bunch of cabbages that are being harvested. Look at, I have a couple more sunflowers to harvest. Uh, this bed's about done with tomatoes, so there's a couple green ones in here, but pretty soon this garden bed's going to be done. Look at the corn. Also, that's about done, but look at the top of that broom corn. Look how crazy tall that is. And there's still a bunch of Pineapple sage, look at those beautiful red flowers. And then I've got to show you, there's a ton of cayenne peppers. Look at those cayenne peppers. So I'm actually gonna be doing a video about how to string these on twine, and then you can hang them and let them dry so you can ground them up for cayenne pepper in recipes. So look out for that video because I'm going to be doing that in the next couple days. All right, there's also a ton, ton, ton of tomatillos everywhere. Check those out. 
and that this is just covered. These plants are covered in tomatillos, so I'm going to be harvesting a ton of these to make salsa. I've got to check out the size of this cabbage. Huge cabbage. All right, all, I have a ton of stuff to harvest in the garden, but thank you for coming along. Thank you for coming on this garden tour. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.